Google just launched Gemini CLI, which is a command line AI tool that is going to allow you to analyze code, create applications, and automate your workflow directly to your terminal for free. So the first thing that you're going to have to do is is to make sure that you have Node.js version 18 or higher installed in your device. And then once you have that, you just pretty much are gonna have to enter the following prompt, which is npm install, then we have dash g at google slash gemini dash cli. And then you're just gonna hit enter and you're gonna see that it's gonna start installing a couple of packages. It usually takes less than 30 seconds, so I expect it to be pretty, pretty fast. And there it is, so it already has added uh, 425 packages in eight seconds, so it didn't take at all. So the first thing that you're gonna have to do once you have done this command is gonna be as simple as just enter Gemini. Okay, so you're gonna enter Gemini and you're gonna see if it's your first time, it's gonna tell you if you want to either go with the Google login, which is pretty much login with your uh, Gmail credentials, or if you have an API key, you are gonna have also that option. Once you are in, you're just gonna have this, pretty much this terminal, and you're just gonna be able to either enter natural language commands or actually cell commands. And you're gonna see, I'm actually gonna put the question mark, and this is gonna help you if you want to actually see what is available. So as you can see in here, the basics is that you can add context, so if you want to specify a specific file, you can just do the add. But also something pretty cool is that you have the cell mode. So if you start a command with the exclamation mark, you don't have to actually go and explain in plain English if you already know pretty good cell commands. So for example, if I'm trying to change the directory, I would use exclamation mark, cd, and then the actual path, right? But you can actually do it on uh, on English. So you can say, go to the, this specific directory, right? So for my case, I'm just gonna say the first thing, I know that I have a project in a specific folder called prompt improver, which is in my desktop. So what I'm gonna say is go to the folder prompt improver, which is in my desktop. So I'm just gonna now hit enter and you're gonna see that this is plain English. So it will have taken me to say CD like you are seeing in here, which is user, a syntax desktop and prompt improver. So for now, I'm gonna always be able to do this. So I'm just gonna say yes, allow it. And now it's just determine the command, amazing, is gonna go now into that specific folder. And now we are gonna see that it's able to see the readme file and all of it, which is pretty much I just have two files in there, which is the main file and then we have the readme file. So it tell, it's telling me that what would you like me to do with it? So you can do multiple things. The first one I'm gonna say, tell me about my project. So that's gonna be the first one, which is analyze the code base, right? So you can ask questions about it, but that's not all. You can actually do a lot more with it. So for this specific case, while I'm gonna be, while this is loading, uh, it's actually, well, it's pretty fast as you can tell. It already has told me what it can do, but I'm gonna be showing you what is the actual application. So we have here from Improver, uh, which pretty much you're just gonna enter here a prompt, which is right um, blog post on AI, and then it's gonna be able to transform it into a much better prompt, right? Because this prompt is pretty basic. So you can say transform prop, you can choose between creative, precise, or speed optimized. We're gonna go with precise. So it's, uh, I'm just gonna transform it, and here is already crafting it. It's crafting it a much better prompt. So we went from write a blog post on AI to write a comprehensive blog post about artificial intelligence, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, amazing, it works, right? Perfect, so now we are gonna go back to the terminal. It probably will have said that, that the main goal for this application is to help users create better prompts, amazing. So that's, as you can see, it can analyze your code if you have any questions. But what is cool about it is that you can actually ask questions to change your, um, to modify files. So you can do a lot more. You can create new files or you can modify existing ones because we already have a project in here. We can just change it up. Let's just change the, the actual emoji. So instead of a rocket, let's actually change it to um, to a fire emoji. Just just for you to be able to see how it's gonna how it's gonna be able to change everything. So change the rocket emoji to a uh, fire emoji. All right, perfect. So I'm just gonna hit enter, and you're gonna see that it's now gonna look into the code base, and it's, so now we are just gonna just always allow to actually modify things and to accept those edits. Perfect. So it says I have replaced the first rocket emoji. Uh, amazing, and I will now replace the remaining rocket emojis. Perfect. So it looks like it has replaced everything. So 
is looking into everything. Is there anything else I can help you with? So it looks like it, it already has done it. So I'm just going to go back into here and I'm going to hit refresh. And there you go. We actually now have a fire emoji. Perfect. So as you can see, it can change files and it's really fast seeing. It's powerful because it's using also the Gemini 2.5 Pro, which is an amazing model. But anyway, that concludes everything. Now what we are going to be doing, let's say that you end up the session, what you can do is just hit um, here, the slash, and you can just say quit, and this will exit. It will tell you the input tokens, the output tokens, the thought tokens, and also the total duration of this. Well, uh, hopefully this was helpful, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.